Before the sun lit up the days and the moon lit up the nights, there was nothing but darkness. When the sun started shining and the moon reflected off of its beauty, it shone a light on all of us. Your personality, love, empathy, and passions are your personal light, and with them, your shine may never fade. Let's begin. I'm starting off with a This Is Everything lip oil before going in with a Honey Do Me Up primer and pressing it into my skin with my fingers. To even out the skin, I'm going in with Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil in the shade Beige Buff and then I'm just pressing it into my skin with a sponge. Now I'm going in with the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Fair under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on the forehead, basically anywhere I want to look a bit less tired. Next, I'm using the Love Contours All Palette to, um, well, contour. Now let's get me some eyebrows. I'm going in with the Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette, and I'm using it to draw on some hairs that I currently do not have on my eyebrows, just to make them a bit fuller. Since I am a control freak, it's only fitting that I use the control freak brow gel to set my brows in place. No idea what I'm trying to do here, but let's move on. I'm using the SFX Cream in shade White to outline the design on my chest. Once that is all in place, I'm going in with Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer again and just filling it in where the skin on the characters are and then going in with SFX Set and just powdering over the entire design to keep it in place. To shade in the lovely friends I have on my chest, I am of course using the Love Contours All Palette. And then I'm going in with the lighter shade in the palette and I'm just putting that wherever the body would naturally have some highlights to it. And then I'm mixing this blue shade from the Ultimate Brights palette with some mixing liquid and drawing in the skirt. And then going in with SFX Cream Color in white again just to add some highlights. And I'm also using it to slightly blend out the lines on the skirt and of course to fill in the angel wings and everything else that would be white in the painting. Then I'm using this blue from the Ultimate Smokescreen palette to add some shadows to the wings and to her dress. I'm also adding a bit of color with this pink shade. Now I'm going in with some black water paint to add some shades to the veil of the moon girl. And then I'm going in with some blue just to give it a bit of color before going in with the black from the Love Contours All palette and just giving it a bit of extra depth. And now I'm going in with the white cream color again and I'm just using that to draw on some stars. Then I'm mixing these two blue shades with some mixing liquid and starting to draw in the water. Then I'm using the white cream paint to add some highlights. Then I'm using all these wonderful colors to create a gradient in the sky behind them. Surprise, surprise, I'm going in with the cream color again and I'm creating some clouds and filling in the sun and the moon. Then I'm mixing the yellow and the orange in the Ultimate Brights palette and filling in the sun. And of course the sun has to sparkle, so I'm going in with some glitter and putting that over the sun. The moon needs some love in too, so I'm going over that as well. And then I'm using the white cream paint to draw in her hair before going in with this wonderful blue shade from the Ultimate Brights palette to fill in and color in her hair and also adding some black to fill in some shadows. And I'm going to outline everything using the Epic Ink Liner starting with the eyes and then moving on to just, yeah, just outlining every single thing in the painting. To soften out the liner, I'm using eyeshadow on the different parts just to blend it out. It works really well when you use the cream color as well, just to go over it and fill in some highlights. Basically what I'm doing is creating a lot of layers to add more depth to the painting. Felt like her hair was lacking a bit, so I'm going in with some more blue just to intensify it. And I'm using the Love It and Betrusted Cream 
color again and I'm just adding some highlights to the hair and then I'm also moving on and putting some highlights on the skin. And I will repeat the same steps on the Sun Girl once I'm done with the Moon Girl. And then I'm using some pink and blue just to add some color to her accessories. And using the white liquid liner just to add some more intense highlights and also creating kind of a sparkly effect on her skirt and in her hair. And now I'm just putting some shadow around the sun and the moon just to even out the lines. Then I'm going in with the glitter primer and putting it on top of the stars because I'm putting on the ice face and body glitter and I'm going to dump it all over and make it super, super sparkly. Now I'm just putting on a bit of extra stuff like a sticker thingy and also a bit of white stars. And now moving on to the eyes, I'm starting with the eyeshadow base and putting it all over my lids. And then I'm starting off with a deep purple in the crease and blending it out with the light blue shade. And then I'm just patting some orange on the middle of my lid. Before going in with the Glitter Girls Glitter Liner in the shade Zodiac Queen. And then I'm using the purple and blue from before underneath as well. On my lips, I'm using the Candy Slick Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sugar Coated Kiss. And lastly, I'm going in with the Steal Your Man Foil Play Eyeshadow to create a star and some lines on my forehead. And we're done! Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you like the look and I'll see you guys soon.